Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. I know I say that all the time, but I love this RV. For those of you that are out there looking for the ultimate in luxury at a lesser price point, this RV is packed full of everything you could ever need. Uh, this is a 2023 Numar Mountain Air with a floor plan 4551. And this coach is absolutely gorgeous. So as usual, I like to start my videos from the inside out. Today we've got a guest videographer, Marlon, who just appeared in last, uh, the last video we did today on Monday. Uh, so Marlon, please, as usual, go ahead and take her on back. I like to start my RV videos from the inside out. You'll always be able to find anything you'd like to see that I have done in the past at YouTube's hashtag RVS inside out. So RVs inside out. Um, and that is uh, full of, you know, I don't know, close to 200 videos likely. And I do a lot of coaches. Um, I have a 2022 Newmar Superstar. And I really wanted to talk a lot today about why you would want to buy a coach from Trans West. So first of all, we're looking at a fantastic RV. This is the Avalon Decor. Um, it's Avalon interior and exterior. This is the 4551. One of the things that makes this coach so, po so uh, popular is the two vanities that you see over here. Uh, so everyone likes this two vanity setup in the rear of the coach. Another thing that people really like about the, about the Mountain Airline is you get these upgraded appliances. You'll start to come into what is the all tile backsplash. Uh, really beautiful Corian countertops, the same color I actually have in my Superstar. You've got linear drains here. And then here at the cabinet level, we've got the Bermuda glazed maple. But what's nice about these is you'll notice, so lots and lots of room for linens on both the left and right sink. But then when you get to your drawers, these are dovetailed. So this is where you start to see the differentiation of our product line versus others. So these nice dovetail full extension drawers. Um, and then also full extension is a really big deal. Being able to get all the way to the back of the drawer, um, also the soft close. So all of these features make for a very, very nice RV. And as you can see, these three drawers are equally as deep. This is a little more shallow, probably a place you keep your toothbrush and toothpaste. And then over here, we only have one medicine cabinet, but it's a nice medicine cabinet. It's got a plug inside of there so you can keep your flat iron or your hair dryer going. And then you'll also see we've got a little place to keep your washcloth. And then over here next to the other washcloth holder, you'll see that we have access to the back of our Splendide. So if we need to turn the water on or off for any particular reason or access the washer and dryer, it's very easy access. Um, now, this is a Splendid washer and dryer. I'll tell you, we've tried other washer and dryers, Whirlpool, Bosch, you name it, but this comes back time and time again. I use this washer and dryer all the time, personally. Um, I use different settings for it. I use the delicate settings. I use active wear settings. I use the whites settings. Um, so I'll tell you, it does a great job washing my clothes, keeping everything clean. It also does a great job drying my clothes. So for those of you that are complaining about your washer and dryer options in this coach, the reason you see the Splendid in so many coaches is because it works so well. Um, and I can attest to that personally, I use it all the time. Uh, now here in the Mountain Air on the 4551, one of the reasons this is such a popular floor plan is this gigantic shower. But I love the towel bars on the outside of this uh, door. And then I also really, really love Again, all that hot, that full tile feature as opposed to the Corian. You've got a shampoo conditioner and body wash dispenser mounted on the wall. So this is where we call our entry level luxury coach. And the reason we call this entry level is this coach um, is got a 500 horsepower engine as opposed to the Cummins um, ISX with the 15 liter engine. This has got the 12 liter or 11.9 liter engine. Uh, so instead of having 1,850 foot pounds of torque, this RV has 1,695 foot-pounds of torque. But for those of you that have been shopping for a Dutch Star and going, gosh, I'd just like to get something that has a little more power, not only do you get a little more power in the uh, mountain air, you get a lot more power. You go from 11 or 1,250 foot-pounds of torque to 19, 
I'm sorry, to 1,695 foot-pounds of torque. So again, 1,250 to 1,695, so big torque increase. Uh, but on top of it, you also get these nicer features where you have, for instance, this all tile floor with the linear drain. Um, you've got your teak bench, of course. We put this in most of our coaches. Gives you a, a much easier time washing your feet. You've got your overhead rain shower. Uh, in most of our RVs, you'll find that we have our shower miser system, which allows you to recycle your fresh water uh, back from the freshwater tank into the freshwater tank while it heats up. Uh, this coach is powered by the Oasis uh, dual loop Chinook system all the way up through Essex. So this is a great, uh, great water heating system, giving you tankless hot water heater. But this shower miser system allows you to take your 105 gallons of fresh water and recycle it so that it doesn't fill up your 80 gallon gray water tank. Uh, you also will have a 60 gallon black water tank on this coach. But other nice features that you have here are these deeper shelves that you see here. So deeper pockets to keep your razor blade, your, or your razor blade, your razor, uh, your soap, uh, your toothbrush, your toothpaste, whatever you might keep in here. Uh, we have the optional assist handles in this coach as well. And then this is a slide with a handheld wand on it as well. So all of the features you'd like, and then if you'll notice here along the around, above the exit door, we have that cathedral ceiling. So that cathedral ceiling is really fantastic for giving us all that extra height. Um, so as you can see, if you're a really tall person, I had someone uh, try on this coach this weekend. He was 6'4", and he was able to go into the shower and find that it would be comfortable for him to use on a day-to-day -day basis. You also have a robe hook up here, which I think is a nice feature. And then your emergency egress door is great for a number of different things. Now, first of all, if you have an emergency and you need to exit the coach, you can do so. You just remove this little metallic or metallic magnetic cover, and there's a ladder over here that you can deploy. That will allow you to exit safely in an emergency situation. You're not jumping out 10 feet to the ground below. Uh, but it's also just a great place if you want to get your linens out of the coach after your camping trip. Just get everything out. It's really easy for you to do that right out that rear door. Uh, now in the 4551, this is a very popular floor plan because of the fact that we have so much closet space, two hanging racks here, full shoes um, all the way through the back. And these shoe boxes are not just great for shoes, they're great for any kind of supplies that you like. And you can see there's so many little cubbies here making use of that rear room that you have at this end cap. And then over here on the right, you have so much shelving. So of course we've got our safe in here, all of the room for you to keep all of your towels, your linens, uh, your sheets. I mean, so much room in this coach uh, for storage. It's just quite luxurious. Um, now this is a one of the zones for the heated floors. So this is a three zone heated floor coach. Even the engine cover in this uh, coach is heated. So if you would like to be able to keep your air conditioning running at night, but you want your toesies to be warm when you get up to use the loo, guess what? Just run your heated floors here in the back. You can have a nice cool place to sleep and also a great place uh, for your little toesies to stay warm if you've got to get up at night. Now, as we enter into this uh, master bedroom, this is a 72 by 80 RV king size bed. One of, the be one of the benefits of getting into this mountain air coach isn't just that you're getting more power, it's also that you still have things like cross ventilation on either side, so you can still open your windows. You also have standard power shades, um, so very easy to uh, tuck in for the evening. Um, another great feature, we came up this came up with this in 2021 for the King Air. There's a cutout here underneath this nightstand giving you access to your two USB ports and your 110 outlets. Uh, that way you can run your cords through uh, that, little, um, that little hole and actually have access to your power while you're, um, while you're going down the road or while you're sleeping at night. Um, and so if you've got a CPAP machine, you can keep it plugged in here and on either side of this bed. Now you'll notice one of the nice features that you get with this coach is that you also have these two 11 inch extendable uh, table inserts as well as your two collapsible chairs. This is because we've got the Euro booth dinette option in this coach. Um, now, when I put this down, I wanna also show you that you have this great access point to these uh, silver leaf 
touch panels all throughout the coach. So you can operate your coach here. You could operate your shades. You could operate all of your lights, but you can also use the MyRosy app with this coach and be able to control this coach cellularly. So off of your phone. So lots of KIB switches in the Dutch star where you've got little buttons in the Mountaineer, you go into this level where you're using the full and inter fully interactive K uh, Silverleaf touch panels. So you have the ability to dim these lights to any level of brightness that you like. You can turn all of the lights on and off just by reaching up and touching a button. You don't necessarily have to pull out your phone and take out a nap. Um, up here, we'll have two 110 outlets. Uh, this is all carpet lined. These cabinets are exceedingly um, thick and well made. They're beautiful. Uh, this is the matte finish in the Bermuda glazed maple. And then there's grommets here underneath so that you could run a cord through and then have all of your electronics if you wanted to charge your iPad, any of those things right here. Again, you should keep your, um, you should keep your CPAP machine, from what I've heard, uh, below heart level. So I'd probably keep that under the bed. But if you'd like to keep it above your bed, that's absolutely something you could do here as well. And again, I mentioned that these all open. Uh, so you've got that cross ventilation, which is very popular. Uh, and then the Lambrequins, as you can see, is this nice tweed fabric. Now on the Avalon, I love this interior decor. So I'm not a huge fan of all of our RV finishes, uh, but the Avalon is absolutely one of my favorites. If you're asking me what color it is, this is very much a taupe and gray color combination. And I also really like this floor. So this is a nice uh, floor that looks like a very natural uh, stone tile, but it's also a no slip floor. So this floor here, not only does it look very high end residential, um, but you'll notice because of the fact that this has got more floor, there is no carpet in this bedroom. Um, and again, just a very nice no slip tile, very high end. Now I have the TV pushed uh, and moved to center here because I wanted to show you behind this television, what we have here. So we've moved our safe out of the bedroom and or out of the closet and into the bedroom. And then we've also given you a nice storage area to the left where you can keep uh, any of your valuables. Maybe you've got some larger items that you want to keep in here uh, out of sight of other people. And where this is so handy is if I close this and I move the television back to the stowed position, it locks into place. And now no one knows that I have anything back there. And I also have a little more room here. One of the great design features of this floor plan are all of these small drawers. Again, all super solid. I know you can't uh, see this, but when you look at the corners here, you'll notice there's no splits or cracking. Um, our cabinetry has been made in Napanee uh, by the Amish community for decades. And they take great pride in the workmanship of uh, building these coaches. And most of the people that have lived in that area either have a relative, multiple relatives, generations of relatives that have worked for Newmar because Newmar takes fantastic care of not only their clients, but of their employees. And we have people that have um, job tenor of over 30 years at the same manufacturer. And when you go walk these plants and you go on these factory tours, these people that are working there are happy. They're working together in unison. They understand their job code. They have great areas to sit and have lunch together. They have a great sense of community. And that craftsmanship that you see in this coach is shown through the quality that you get when you have someone building something with care and love for the product that they build. And if you're looking at any other manufacturer, I strongly encourage you, fly out and see me. I sell so many coaches. I've got more coaches going to Florida this month than I have staying in Colorado. Um, of the five units that I'm delivering, two are for full-timers and two are for people in Florida. Um, I'm flying out to Belton to deliver a coach later on this week. I would love to help you make a decision that's right for you. And just because I'm here in Colorado, it makes it an even better place to start your camping trip. And we've got a fantastic inventory. This coach is available for sale. I would encourage you to come out and test drive it. It is absolutely amazing. Now up here in our telematics cabinet, we have our little uh, HDMI cord here, all of our access to our TV. But this is a 4K smart television. Uh, most people are just using Wi-Fi these days to be able to access their television. 
Uh, here is one of our control panels. There's a larger 10 inch control panel like this up front. But I just want to show you very easy access to your phone. Again, with the My Rosie app, we'll very much mimic this where you've got access to your floor heat, your lights, you've got access to your shades, you've got access to your door locks, you've got access to your, um, your fans. So you've got three fantastic fans in this coach. Uh, your coach mode, you can tell your coach that you are uh, outdoor unplugged hit activate and it will change all the boxes that are mapped that are marked and activate different features so you're using the right systems uh, you can operate your block heater here you can also do your climate control look at all of your water you can set your generator for your auto gen start you've got your AC and DC power uh, readings here as well and then on your home screen you get kind of a nice overview so again all of this is available not only um, here at these touch panels, you can control a lot of the coach at your individual silver leaf panels, but then again on your app as well. Now, if you look out here, I'm going to go ahead and pull these shades up. Uh, one of the reasons I want to pull these shades up is when we look at this rear window, I do have the, uh, I have the awning deployed. So this is a carefree awning package. And one of the things that I really like about the carefree awning package is the fact that we have, um, a power awning so I have a superstar and it has a manual awning but as you can see over here when you look at the arms on these awnings these are so robust and sturdy so if you do have a heavier wind situation and you are looking to be able to deploy awnings to keep the sun out of the coach great location uh, for, a, for a shade and also very nice sturdy awning and then over here on the left next to the dresser you have another opening window Again, these Lamberquins are very nicely done. They've got a little bit of a suede tufting above them, giving it a high level finish, but a very nice neutral palette to you. No weird paisleys or gold accents. Um, I have to tell you, we do get these Essex that come in and London Airs that come in um, from back in the day and they're still on the road and they still look fantastic. And I have to tell you, the decor for RVs Back in the like early 2000s and late 90s was pretty fantastic, but a lot more over the top. For those of us that want to be able to inject our own style into this coach, a nice neutral backdrop is of course, maybe a little more attractive. And I just want to show you again, fully opening drawers all the way through uh, in the 4551. Not only do you get these big drawers for storage, but you also get these small drawers so you could have you know, underwear and socks. Maybe you don't have 400 pairs of bathing suits. You can keep those in these smaller drawers and keep that separation. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this door. Look at how solid this is. So you'll notice that when we get up to the mountain air level, you start to see the decor on both sides of these solid pocket doors. Uh, the other thing is, Marlon, if you wouldn't mind, step backwards into that bathroom for me. That way. No, you go that way. because this is my favorite part. This is where I get to say, here goes your cameraman. There we go. So take a look at that full length mirror. What a good looking guy we have there behind the scenes today. Thanks for, thanks for filling in Marlon. Uh, one thing that one of my clients pointed out this weekend when we were looking through this coach was look at how nice this bathroom layout is. This is a much more roomy bathroom. So what do you get for the extra, you know, a Dutch star is 43 feet, 10 inches long. This is 44 feet, 10 inches long. So the extra 12 inches is really right here in the center of the coach. So you get a lot of nice features, but one of them is you have a really comfortable place to sit down and this little pocket door pivots. So it gives you access to this bathroom while you're in motion. But if you wanted to be able to set up and do your makeup in this bathroom, this is a great place. It's got, again, that access to the outside air, a really nice place to keep your hair dryer your flat iron, all of your uh, beauty supplies. You could keep your makeup bag down here along with everything that you use to get ready in the morning. Nice place to keep, you know, f face cleanser, all of your toothpaste, toothbrush. So if you get up before your husband in the morning and you wanna have your own space, you can easily get up, make your coffee, you know, get started with your day, get caught up on the news and have a great place to get ready and let him sleep in. Uh, also, you'll note that we have access to our central vac here. So that's for your kick plate for the sweep. And then here's the hose access. And then another place where you can keep a few extra rolls of toilet paper. 
Uh, so all really fantastic. And then here we have this great little pop down outlet. So you also have an outlet that you we can stow so that no one has to see it. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this backlit vanity mirror because this is just a nice feature as well. If you would like to be able to have great illumination, this is a fantastic feature here. Really good place to do your eyebrows or whatever it might be if you're on the road. And then of course, this is where we keep all of our circuit panel, our circuit breakers and fuse panels. And as you can see, Numar does a fantastic job. Everything is very, very clearly labeled right next to it. You don't have to go over here and try to de deduce what they mean to say. They've got little stickers that tell you what everything does for power. And then they give you some spare fuses down here. And all of your breaker boxes, again, are just super easily labeled. Um, another nice feature of this coach, so as we keep talking about, so in the new air, in the Essex, in the London, or in the, I'm sorry, not the London air, in the new air, in the Essex, in the King air, we have a lot of bonded windows that don't open. In this coach, you'll notice that every room we've gone into, the windows open. So for those of you who think that's an important feature, it's really nice. But we love to run our fantastic fan to pull the air in through those windows so we can get that beautiful forest smell when we're out camping. So I really love that. Again, great detail on these doors, super solid. A little sniffers all over the place for those who are wondering what this is. We're looking for heat, carbon monoxide, all of those things in this coach at all points in time to make sure you're safe. Uh, and then we talked a little bit again about extra space. So for those of you that are gonna get out there on the road, I love these push to release doors. So this is actually my favorite implementation in a pantry. In the Essex, they have a little bar that locks them. These work great. I don't see what the use is for upgrading them. Um, ours have never came out while we we're driving. They lock into place, you know that they're in place. Um, but what I would love to have in my uh, Superstar that I don't have, you'll notice I've moved one of these little um, inserts over so they just slide in and out. And I, went, I moved one over so you could see that you could keep a nice deep pot there uh, with a handle and then next to it potentially a frying pan, some baking pans. I mean, this is a great setup giving you so much more space when you turn it vertical. Uh, just a great implementation of storage by Numar. Now we still have our water dispenser on the outside of our Whirlpool refrigerator. We use this Whirlpool in just about every RV that we have until we get up into the coaches where we're using the Vikings or the Bosch refrigerators. Um, and then you'll note great cheese and meat drawer, nice fruit and vegetable tray. This little tray slides down and drops so that you have taller storage available. And then really deep drawer pocket storage in this coach as well. Here's your gigantic freezer. Now, for those of you who watch my videos all the time, you know how thorough I am. Um, I try really hard to cover the things that you'd like to see. If I miss something, please put it in the notes or the comments down below. This is a 100% live video. Um, all of the things that I'm talking about right now, I just inherently know because I spend so much time presenting these coaches. But I have to tell you, for those of you who've been on the fence about wanting a little more power and have been looking at our Dutch Star product, but don't necessarily want to jump up to that price point of the London Air. We have a great selection of Mountain Airs in inventory currently, and I really encourage you to test drive this product because 1,695 foot-pounds of torque makes for a really, really nice drive experience. So one of the benefits that you have of shopping with us here at TransWest is we have uh, a great facility. We have chassis service, so we have a full house, uh, full house service for Renegade, for Numar, for Winnebago, uh, for our Prevo Emerald line here on uh, what we call Branch 16, so on one side of the street. But across the street where my office is, we have a full chassis center where we are Daimler Elite certified. We are Cummins and Onan certified. We can handle you know, your, we can handle your Spartan chassis, we can handle your uh, Prevo chassis. Um, we have all of the mechanics necessary in this location and about 15 miles away at Branch One, we have a full-fledged body shop and paint shop. So this is a great organization to do business with. Um, out of the 43 stores that we have, only four are RV stores. Um, so as you can imagine, we have a great breadth of business. George and Barbara do a fantastic job at giving us a really nice place to work. Um, but in that, we have so much uh, experience mechanically to keep you on the road and healthy. Um, and I think that that is a really important reason to consider purchasing from us. I have a client that just came back from a really fantastic uh, rally. It was a Newmar rally that he went to down in Pagosa Springs. And he had so many people 
tell him about the stories they had about having to farm uh, repair work out or work you know out for their RVs because they don't have a chassis service side where they're uh, where they're having their RVs serviced. It's really nice to be able to come here and get your brakes serviced, your oil changed, your generator serviced, all of those things done, and then your house serviced at the same time where you can have one singular place where you're not driving around trying to handle getting your RV ready to rock and roll for that uh, next camp uh, next next camping experience. Okay, so I had to think about this this morning. This is what I would do for spices, right? 100%, this is gonna be my spice drawer. But I'm gonna also have some of those larger canisters that I use that have, um, like I have a Lari's that I've taken out of the actual bottle and I put it into a little canister so that I can use it on the grill. So all of those grill spices that you wanna have here, you could have a whole bunch of different spices here for your grill. Um, another great location here for a large bottle of Belvedere. No, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't, don't get a bottle that big. It gets you in trouble. Get kicked out of that campsite. But no, so check this out. I was trying to figure out what would I use this drawer for. I would use this drawer for like my corkscrews, my bottle openers, my little, um, the little tags that you use when you're having a party and you want everyone to have their wine glasses labeled so you know whose is whose. That would be a great little place to keep those. And then of course we have our scrubby door right here. Then we have our amazing amount of space down here. Now I would get a larger trash can in this but that's just me. Some of you might be able to, I use this one in my uh, Superstar in the bathroom. And then we actually just cut a regular size kitchen uh, trash can down just a little bit and we use it underneath our sink. But again, all of these full extension drawers give you access all the way to the back without having to reach. And then you'll notice here, and this is not slid quite into space, there's two little pockets here. Let me just get this into the right pocket. There's two little pockets here to keep your sink covers. So you can keep this and it's not gonna rattle around. It's actually tucked in. There's a nice little carpeted area there. And so you could keep those sink covers in here if you're using uh, your sink frequently. You could keep both of them there or just one. But you will see that you have this really nice sink in the mountain air. This is a dual basin, but it has a really large singular stainless steel basin on the left side and then a nice vegetable prep sink on the right side. Another great feature of the mountain air is if you'd like to plug in your coffee maker and keep your coffee maker or your toaster oven down here, there's plenty of room along this counter and there's also out overhead plugs strategically located throughout the under space. So there's two, four, and then six total outlets. Another thing that I really like about this coach, I love my induction cooktop so much that I actually had one um, put into the house that I just built. Um, so I have an induction cooktop at home too but I cannot tell you, we use this true induction cooktop outside on a picnic table, making French toast, making bacon, scrambling eggs, getting ready to go on our hikes almost every day that we're camping. Uh, it's a great place to saute onions if you wanna make some for your burgers, whatever it may be, but this just, I plug it in outside, it just unplugs as you can see right here, plugs into one of the bays down below, we put it outside on our picnic table and it's really nice to bring the cooking to the outside but if we're still using this counter space to prep one of the things that i really like is when this is removed i still have my full access to my counter space now i don't cut on my cutting board but these do have uh, cutting boards built into the back of both of them um, i actually use some cutting boards i keep in my drawer but this is so nice because I can still be using my stove outside and have all of my counter space here on the inside. And then I was thinking this morning, what a great place to keep all of your spatulas, everything else that you want. And then how nice to be able to keep your silverware here in the center of the coach where it's not going to be in, in come, uh, you're not gonna be standing in front of that drawer if someone needs to get access to something like this. Or you could keep your, your, um, your hot pads if you need something to you know, grab the hot tongs while you're outside barbecuing, anything like that, all of your barbecue utensils. And then you can keep your chips and your dip and your guac or your charcuterie board all right here. You guys are seeing my oldness with, I have to have my reading glasses in case I need to look at something. Um, there's not much I'm gonna have to look at um, on this coach, I'm pretty familiar with it. Um, but if I am, like I said, missing anything, let me know. Um, I love this cabinet here. It's nice that it has an adjustable shelf. If you wanted to keep things like mixing bowls or coffee cups, anything along those lines, you could keep those there. Me personally, I would probably keep my somewhere and glassware over here in these cabinets because they're nice and narrow. They're also carpet lined and there's a ton of storage space. So for me, 
certainly I keep a lot of like I get those frozen uh, beverage containers like with for beer and wine and I keep those in my freezer but for coffee mugs beer steins anything along those lines you might want to keep you can keep them all there martini glasses uh, certainly would be a great place to keep a few of your aperitifs uh, and then over here I mean check it out dude so much storage up here for board games uh, we've been playing Cards of Humanity a lot lately. I probably shouldn't tell people that on uh, on my live videos, but we have so much fun uh, playing games, you know, around the campfire with the kids. Um, since we got our Numar, uh, it's funny, my 15-year-old and 19-year-old actually enjoy going camping with us more, and they, they always talk about how they love camping in tents, but it seems to me that they've really been enjoying uh, the luxury that you get to experience you know, we come back from a long bike ride. I can put everyone's bike kits in the washing machine, have them clean before our ride the next day. Everyone can take a shower. It's just a really nice family experience. Now here is that uh, Euro booth we talked about earlier. So the full extension table. And then there's a little guy here, and this is a magnetic drop down. So this does drop down to give you that support if you're concerned about that. Uh, and then there's again, 22 inches of extension uh, to this table. Uh, one of the things that's nice about this Euro booth and the way that it's set up, so this just, there's a little magnet, you can hear it snap into place, and then just push this back in. Uh, but what's nice about this Euro booth, the way that it's set up, is it actually does have a very narrow cushion here, so you could still lean back and be comfortable, but it gives you a little more room in this seat. So this is pretty roomy. Your knees will not touch if you're sitting across from somebody. Um, and then I like the fact that I could keep maybe like a little flower, a flower uh, bouquet, some salt and pepper, cream and sugar, whatever it may be out here on this table, hot sauce, um, all the things that I would like to have out while I'm camping. Nice to have that full, uh, that full little shelf there on the buffet. Um, also, I wanted to show today, I don't do this a lot and I really should work on it. People ask me if we have seat belts. So the answer is there is a seat belt here, there's a seat belt here, and there's two seat belts there and two in the front. So this coach has six seat belts. There is not a seat belt in the Euro booth. In the Euro booth, what you have underneath is storage. So this is a nice deep drawer. Some of the drawers are a little less deep. Um, it's not as long, but plenty of room to keep your tablets. This is actually where I keep all of my plates um, and, and bowls. And then I keep on the other side, I keep my um, napkins and all of my placemats, my outdoor tablecloth, all of that stuff. And then underneath here, this great little pocket here, is a great place to keep some Pimpernel placemats. If you've not tried Pimpernel placemats, they are cork-based placemats, so they're actually, they're thick, they're about this thick, and you can, and they're, they're sturdy, so they're really nice if you want to put something on your lap uh, while you're eating uh, your your dinner, you can use them as regular placemats, but you could also just put it down here and eat your burger while you're watching Stranger Things. So we love that feature. Um, also, you'll note, Avin and I were goofing around with these earlier today. Another question we get quite frequently is, how far back do the theater seats go? Uh, they go really far back. And what we've heard, I wouldn't know because I'm not one of them, but really tall people love these theater seats. So this is a really great theater seat that you could definitely take a nap in, definitely catch a few Z's. Um, if you've had enough margaritas, you could probably sleep there all night. Um, and then you'll notice I have these changed uh, to the colors I like, which is pink and blue to match my dress. But you can push and hold this little button and change your lighting as well. So this is something that we want to talk about too. Lighting in these RVs is really fantastic. So here's a little place. This is what I call the remote catch. So you can catch all your remotes here. And then underneath, lots of room to keep some blankets. So if you want to get nice and cuddly. Um, we also have an option uh, for reclining seats that has a hard table here. So if that's more your preference, please note that this King Air, this King Air, this Mountain Air is equipped with the theater seats, the Euro booth. Um, this is, again, the Avalon interior, exterior. All of those things are optional features. You can change your wood color. We've got four different colors of wood. Uh, you can really customize this coach. We can change out this floor if you'd like to order the coach and you'd like to have the wood plank floor that comes in the King Air, or maybe you like that Essex, like really glossy, beautiful, high uh, polish finish. 
we can really make this coach customized to be exactly what you like. And when you're in this echelon of RV, this is a kind of RV that you really, this is, this is an accomplishment in anyone's life to be able to get out there and get into these fantastic parks to see these wonderful nicks and crannies of the United States. We'd like you to make sure that you're getting exactly what you want at our dealership. We're not in a hurry. We have fantastic inventory if you are. And if you're not in a hurry and you want to customize something, we love having custom co coaches come in. I saw two uh, ordered coaches arrive today. So those are coaches that will never see anybody else's took us, just the technician and the person who purchased it because they come in, we prep them for delivery and they, they scoot off into the sunset. So really want to emphasize that we can get you exactly what you'd like here at the dealership. Now over here, if you look at the control panel for the theater seat, you'll notice it's glowing a little bit blue. That is because that is a USB port. So really nice to have that feature where you've got connectivity all over this coach because you've got so many different power sources. Uh, but you also have uh, power sources like there's two USB ports here and two one and ten outlets down here. And then across the way we also have on this trifold hide a bed another two 110 outlets. Um, now just so you know folks I have done a ton of mountain air videos. I just did one that's a 41 foot versus a 38 foot mountain air comparison uh, on the new 2024 mountain air. If you're looking for uh, shorter videos, mine are probably going to be a little more thorough. Um, I think that the people that I'm working with tend to be um, really in the market and they want to be able to watch and understand everything. We have other associates that work here that do much shorter videos. So if you're looking for a little less information, please make sure you, you tune into TTT RV and you could have a shorter video. Okay, so this is a really comfortable bed. Um, so if you were to ask me if I would sleep on it that way or this way, I would sleep on it this way. Um, although my legs are a little elevated here, it's not uncomfortable at all. And this has got a great support for my side. This is a really, really comfortable sleeping uh, accommodation, unless you don't want company and then yeah, just tell them it's awful. But really, it's actually really nice. Now you'll notice I do have the 50 uh, inch 4K smart TV uh, extended across from us. That's just so you can see how nice and large that is. So this coach has a 43 inch television in the bedroom. It has a 43 inch television at the front of the coach for your viewing pleasure. It has a 50 inch television here above the couch and it has another 43 inch television outside. This RV has more TVs than I have in my entire house, which is pretty impressive. Now I wanna show you a few different things. First of all, if you're watching a movie, we're gonna go ahead and hit shade control. We're gonna go ahead and do night shades and we'll hit day shades. So you can see these kind of changing places. So if you're watching a movie and you wanted to black out the room so that you could get the best viewing, you could do all of that here. And then you could go here as well. You can go to your lighting. We can turn all the lights off. Ceiling lights, reading lights. Floor lights, wall lights. Oh, I didn't show wall lights yet. I'm, I'm gonna turn those on. The wall lights are really pretty. Uh, but again, we can turn off all of these lights. So, oh, let's get our ceiling lights. There we go. And overhead. I'm not turning off all my lights. There, oh, those, oh, sorry, that was accent lights and I'm not turning off. Okay, so there we go. So all of my lights are off. So as you can see, and sorry about that. So all of my lights are off. And what I wanted to show you was actually the accent lights. So I'm gonna turn these up just a little bit. And then you can see I can change the level of lighting in here. So I really love, like if I want a nice soft glow, you'll see I can have this fantastic soft crisscross glow here in the mountain air that I absolutely love. And then I could have my movie on so I could still see what I was doing. Um, you'll notice that all the puddle lights for the accent lights are down below as well. So you can really make this dreamy. And then I'll show you again. I meant to do this the right way, but I was not operating correctly. When I have my ceiling lights on and my accent lights off, I have just these little LED puck lights throughout. Um, so, and then there's another uh, fantastic fan. 
Um, all of my venting for my air conditioning is running right now. Now this coach is running uh, the air conditioning off of the generator. This is a 12.5 kilowatt generator. So you move up into generators that are a little larger starting at the mountain air. Um, when you get into the Dutch Star, the 43 foot coaches have a 10 kilowatt generator. When you get into the uh, mountain air, the uh, London air, the Essex and the King air, you have 12.5 uh, kilowatt generators. Okay, sorry, here we go. TV lift down and then let's go to shades. Get all those shades up. So this is a really nice feature of this coach. You have so much visibility through all these windows. And then as you can see, I have my awning deployed here, keeping the sun out of the RV. I got a huge picture window looking out onto the party side of the deck. Look at the size of the, of the window that I have here above the kitchen. I mean, what a lovely place. If you're somebody who likes to have a few little live plants that you take with you from campsite to campsite, this would certainly be a great coach for you. Lots of available lighting. And then over here on the business side of the coach, I also have the full length awning deployed as well. So great, great sun protection for those of you that are out camping. Great availability of light control. And now we're gonna get up here into the front. So again, a new 10 inch panel for 2023. This is giving you the same access as to what we've already covered in the bedroom. And then here we have our privacy drapes. So we could do, for instance, the door privacy drape. If I drop that down, I can black out all of these. This is a power drape. So all of these are power on the mountain air. So really, really nice. Um, as you can see here in the front, one of the nice things here is this shade is in a nice channel. So when I drop this shade down, I have great uh, coverage. I can have total privacy because it's got a little cut here so that I can drop these out and I can have these down so that no one can see in and I can have privacy in my coach and not have people looking in but still be able to see out what's around me. And then here, let's see which one we're looking for. There we go. I'm pulling up the side, uh, the side shade here because I want to talk a little bit about Numar. So here we have owner support. So you'll see Erica Miller's here. Uh, we have our 800 number for Spartan. We have our 800 number for Numar. We have Nugal. We have Nupar. This woman has a phone that goes after hours. If you have an emergency, we actually have somebody who will answer the phone and help answer questions for you. But here at, at Trans West, we also have a gentleman by the name of Bill Habercorn who will also answer the phone for you. So if you can't get a hold of Erica and you need to talk to Bill, you can talk to Bill or Erica. Uh, here's a wireless charging pad up here, Marlon, if you just want to show that. Um, but you'll notice down here, there's this campground and there's like cones and chairs and people with trucks. All of these folks are, are here. Um, this little, uh, it looks like, I can't see what kind of RV that is, but that one has a pink sheet on it, which means that they're camping in that coach. It's plugged into our 50 amp out here. And what they'll do is they'll put a pink notification saying that uh, that Tiffin is here. It's a Tiffin Phaeton. Uh, it's here for service and that their refrigerator is active and that they're going to have service done on their coach, but to keep make sure it stays plugged in. So we can do same day services for you and provide a place for you to camp for both chassis and house for your RV here at our campground. And as you can see, we lock this gate at night, but our clients have the accessibility to be able to come and go as they please. And then for instance, uh, my clients bought a Ventana for me. They came in this morning at eight o'clock to get some of the, um, they're getting a tire pressure system installed, some of those things done after market. And so they, they came in, we opened the gate, they drove in this morning and started their service. And then they'll bring the coach back out to them before five o'clock they'll plug in and stay there until we're finished doing whatever service they'd like. So someone uh, called me on Saturday and said, I made a mistake and I bought a Dutch star from somebody else because I thought I was getting a really good deal and I don't know how to use it. I'd like to come by and see you on Tuesday and I think you should cover in your videos what a difference it makes to have someone like Wade Phoenix, our technologist, spend a whole three hours with you and then allow you to camp here while you get your sea legs on, have the full use of our staff, Bill Habercorn, myself, whoever it is, 
helping you to get oriented with your new coach before you go camping for the first time. I guess he stopped somewhere and no one had even shown him where the house switch was for power. So he couldn't figure out how to turn his heat on. It was freezing cold. He's in the middle of nowhere, somewhere outside of Las Vegas. He's left Southern California. He's in this used Dutch star and can't even turn on the heat. I mean, just despicable behavior by that dealership. Um, it wasn't actually a Newmar dealership. Um, but I guess the, the technician that was working with him said, oh, you can find that on YouTube. Everything's online. Just look at your books. Um, here at TransWest, we will spend the time to make sure you have a fantastic, uh, not only purchase experience, but also orientation and launch experience where when you get out into the world, you know what you're doing. And then after you've had all of that help, we still have someone who's paid literally uh, 365 days a year to do nothing but answer the phone for our clients that is above and beyond our Newmar technologist uh, that is an internal person that has tons of experience that can help you get back on the road so that you don't have to go in for a service appointment to keep camping. Uh, so a little more storage here. I do always talk about how I love the way Newmar matches this cabinetry so that you have the same effect the whole way through. Um, now up here in this cabinet, you'll see that we have um, our wine guard here. This is just telling us how many stations we have in our parking lot uh, on our Razor antenna for our television. There's a new uh, Xantrex solar uh, reading system. It used to be green. This is the same for 110 watt panel, so 440 uh, watts of solar on top of the roof. We have our same Girard controller. You'll notice there's three here. That's for the two large awnings as well as the one that goes over door. And then our individual awning controls are here. We've got our passenger and driver security lights, all of our drape control here. So to be able to put these down is up here in this bay. Um, all of that's right here. We've got our Wi-Fi router control here. You can see those little uh, bunny ears sticking up right there. And if you'd like to put more power up here, you're welcome. We do do a lot of Starlink install at this dealership so we can install that roof mounted in motion Starlink system for you. Um, and then here, another great little cabinet to keep a large water bottle. Um, you've got your awning controls, so manual awning controls. The Gerard awning control was in the drawer, the, the little uh, power one. And then this is again, that third awning that we have. Another feature that I really like about this coach, again, opening windows. And if you're not camping and you wanna be able to see where you're going when you're going down the road, you can simply undo this snap and pull this up and you'll see that you'll be able to have a visibility, uh, not just through this window, but through this entire gigantic glass window here. Uh, now, starting at the mountain air, you get the, oh shit, I lost the Jeep Honey camera. Uh, this is only available at the mountain air. I tried to add it to a Dutch star a few months ago. The answer from Numar was no. If you want that camera, you're really gonna have to buy a Mountain Air. So there's that. Um, I'm gonna show the desk today. Get you out of the way. Uh, so it's funny because we gloss over all these things uh, making these videos because they come out so long, but I've heard time and time again, people will choose their videographer according to, or not videographer, but their sales associate according to the videos they produce. And I like to make these longer videos because this is super handy, like having like a little spot that holds your soda from like flying around. You can put your iPad here and then you can stow this desk. Like that's actually a really important feature to a lot of people. And we don't cover these things a lot of times. And you wonder, you know, oh, what, what would that look like? The other thing I think that we forget to cover a lot of times is this step cover. So when you're going down the road, am I gonna fall in the hole if my husband slams on the brakes? No, because he'll be sitting here and I'll be driving but there's also a step cover. So, and this is a nice sturdy step cover. What's really cool about this is if you are outside and you use a step cover, you could put the cat in there and then close the door. No, I'm just kidding. Don't stow your cats in the step area. That's not a good idea, uh, but it will keep your fun furry friends from uh, falling into the hole while you're driving or your toddlers, whoever else might be here. Uh, now down here on the left-hand side of this uh, driver's side chair, you can see your seat controls, that's to go forward and backwards. And then the two arrows are gonna to be to adjust your uh, pitch of your seat or to extend your recliners. So both of these seats do pivot the whole way around. They're both recliners. You'll notice that I have the keys here in the drawer. That is because I don't need to have a key to put into the ignition starting at the mountain air. It becomes a push button start. Um, but lots of nice space here to store my um, 
sunglasses and the like. And then here you can see I have that 360 camera uh, display on as well as the rear camera. And then over here I have our Nav Go navigation system. So what's really nice about this Spartan chassis is in 2023, we came up with 11 more buttons to allow you to control the source. So you can switch between your uh, phone perhaps, maybe, uh, maybe your uh, radio, you got your volume control, fog lights, headlights. You also have all of your phone controls, your windshield wiper controls. And then here in the center, go ahead and start this. Oh, I think Marlon, I'm gonna have to sit down where you're, where you're aiming just so I can get this rolling. So here in the center, you'll see, go ahead and get us started. Oh, I've got my volume control too low. Low tire pressure. I'm not already running. I would know it. Hmm? It's mad. I can't see my key. So if your key battery is a little low, just touch it here. Um, sometimes these have sat in proximity to the coach for so long, they've spoken, they've been talking to each other for too long. So these batteries get a little bit low. They're easy to replace, but if you just touch it there, uh, when it's green, it'll go ahead and start the coach. But so here you'll see we've got our TPMS sensor set up. So you can tell that this coach feels like it's a little too heavy at 100, 111 and 112 pounds on the front tires. But you can see all of your tire pressure monitors reading individually. And then you can also see our lane tracking package from our mobilized system. We also have our, uh, we don't have our collision sensors uh, on because of course we're not engaged in drive, but you would able to be able to uh, control uh, following the person in front of you uh, with your cruise control so you wouldn't actually have to accelerate and brake on the freeway. Uh, you've got your fuel gauge up here, your temperature, oil, all of your air pressures for front and rear, and then also your def tank is showing as full. That's a 15 gallon def tank. You can see your mileage per hour. And then this coach again at 1900 RPMs, so not very high, max RPMs on an RV like this is 3000. At 1900 RPMs, you've got 500 horsepower on this coach. In 2024, that will go to uh, a 525 horsepower rating, but the same torque. Uh, power mirrors here, heated mirrors. You'll note here that we have automatic high beams starting in 2023, as well as more uh, visible and brighter headlights uh, starting in 2023 across the entire product line. There's your brake, fog lamps, uh, automatic lights on or off so you can turn those on or off and then you've got your uh, power window you saw that earlier your air horn i mean holy moly um you can turn that off <laughs> i think that that's really nice because if you're somewhere like in the middle of like a city and maybe the guy in front of you is on his phone like sending a text message and he's not going at that green light the first horn might be a little excessive um, okay, so we were talking earlier about um, this transmission. So this is an Allison 4000 MH, and Marlon does a lot of big truck videos, and he'll be the first to tell you, you get, you get with a 4000 over a 3200 is better towing capacity. So this is just giving you better towing capacity. It's the same Allison six speed. Um, and then you'll see here, we've got our HWH computer leveling system as well. And down here below, we have an auxiliary input as well as USB ports. You can manually dump your tag if you're parking. Um, you've got your engine brake is on. I've got it set to medium right now. You also have high and low, and this is a beefy engine brake, so that's super cool. Um, so I think that that covers the entire chassis. Um, we didn't go into this menu too headlong, um, but you have Sirius, Bluetooth, HDMI, auxiliary, iPod, camera control, mobile eye control, so everything you want, but it's, it's nice that there are these shortcut buttons uh, to the left so you can access different cameras um, without having to go into like a long menu. So these two 10 inch monitors are a really nice upgrade that you'll have uh, even in the Dutch Star. Uh, so like I said, there's a lot of different options in Numar and it's really important to understand that you can get the coach that you want and spend the money that you like and have a lot of really, really nice levels of equipment starting at Base Star. So starting at Baystar, where you're in those gas coaches and going up into our diesel pushers, you know, there's a really, really well-built coach 
on top of all of those different platforms and it's really important to understand what you're looking for and why you'd spend money to get different engine sizes and different configurations. Um, again, Mountain Air having like this, this camera here, having the wireless charging pads, having this nice desk with this step cover, having the windows that open. All of these are great features. Um, the Villa furniture that you get in here, this really nice soft palette uh, for the Mountain Air leather is also a reason you might consider a Mountain Air um, over a Dutch Star. So um, here we're gonna be able to lock and unlock our bay doors. So I think Avon's already got them all open for us. This is also where the house uh, is turned on and off. And then I think Marlon, if you could just reach down and push that button to turn off the uh, coach so we don't have so much noise. Um, when I have the coach off, one of the reasons I do that is because it's probably a little bit too noisy. I'm gonna hit that gen two. Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, so that was a 12.5 kilowatt generator I just turned off. Um, I turn them off because when we get to the back of the coach, it's too noisy for me to show you the coach. Um, the generator is stored here underneath the front of the RV and in our diesel pushers, of course, this ISX is located in the rear. Um, so this again is the 11.9 liter or the ISX, they call it the 12 liter, just rounding up. Um, but this again has 500 horsepower, 1,695 uh, foot-pounds of torque and a lot of power. Um, a lot of prowess, a huge towing capacity. Um, your towing capacity on a Ventana or a Dutch Star with a tag is 15,000 pounds, um, but this upgraded and enhanced transmission that you get with a larger engine is gonna give you better towing capacity going up those mountain passes, and of course, so will that torque. Uh, so again, we talked about the updated headlights for 2023. Um, as you can see here, another feature that changes in the mountain air, we don't have any windshield wipers showing here. So by tucking these here underneath this end cap, uh, we have, of course, our really nice diamond shield. Um, we've got our cut and buff four layer paint, um, but we also protect our windshield wipers when we put them underneath this end cap. So this whole end cap is protecting your investment, uh, both in the way that it's treated, painted, and then with the, with, the, uh, clear, with the clear bra that we have on the front of it, but also in tucking those windshield wipers away. Uh, so you've got your chrome convex mirrors here. As you can see, you've got turn indicators uh, in, built into them. Also down here, you'll note that we have, again, that, that radar sensor for our lane track, or for our drive assist package. And then this, this illuminates, it glows, and shows off that prestigious Numar badging. Um, so this is a really nice luxury level coach. Uh, now, here you'll also see we have our side cameras integrated into this mirror as well as our turn signals. So again, when you change levels and you go up, what are the nuances that you get? This integrated camera is no longer mounted on the side of the coach and your turn signals are visible. So if somebody is actually looking to see whether or not you're changing lanes, they can see that you're changing lanes right there. Now, of course, starting at Ventana and going up, we have our push button uh, system where we can lock and unlock our doors here. We've got that doorbell that, that Marlon rang when he, uh, when he entered the coach earlier today. We also have these big, robust Michelin 365-70 R22 tires. These are the XZA-rated tires. These are fantastic tires. And then our Alcoa rims are giving us a much lower reverberation, much quieter drive going down the road. We have two access points to our 150 gallons of fuel. Uh, that 150 starts at the Dutch Star at the 43-foot level. Again, in this extra one feet of space, what do you get? You have the 150 gallons of fuel. You have uh, the three liter, or three cubic foot, sorry, three cubic foot Dometic freezer on a slide tray. You have this really nice shelf above the slide tray. All of these features are very similar. So again, you don't necessarily need to jump right into that mountain air, uh, but when you get into this level, you do get those little nuances like that 12.5 kilowatt generator. Um, you do get that little bit of extra space giving you that mid bath that's maybe a little bit more roomy. You do get an enhanced transmission. Um, also on this coach you'll see we have our slide trays underneath giving us all of that great pass-through space. But on either side of them, like you'll see to the left here, that is our star foundation. So that star foundation is actually helping to keep this coach level going down the road. It's taking the heaviest portions of the coach and redirecting the weight to the bottom center of the coach, giving you better drive characteristics while you're driving. I'm not gonna open both of these trays, but I wanna show you how easily they come out and also how far they come out. 
So these, co these trays come out so far, as you can see, easily access the middle of this uh, tray. Um, because it comes out to 60%, it holds up to 1,000 pounds. So you can really get like your barbecue on there, all of your lawn chairs, but you'll also note that we've raised the coach above the, ch above the chassis rail here. So when that star foundation raises the coach above the chassis rail, what it does is it gives us an ability to actually have a three inch thick subfloor. And when they assemble this floor on the coach, they assemble, uh, they assemble the star foundation first, and then they have a flat table where they take all of the tile and it's laid out on a huge tray that gets hot. It actually bakes the tile and cures the grout uh, in those tile floors. Uh, here's the road vac. Um, so when those floors go on, they're not set on the coach while it's in motion. They're actually set on the tray and then the floor itself is picked up and brought over by suction cups and then placed down, giving you all that more room, uh, all that more, um, I'm sorry, strength and rigidity between the foundation and the floor so you don't get tile popping or cracking. Um, so it's a really great feature. Now here is where we would have, of course, I mentioned earlier, 105 gallons of water, an 80 gallon gray water tank and, an, and a 60 gallon block water tank. So that water's right behind this board. And then this is for top shelf liquor and then mixers down below. See, Marlon just winked at me. He and I, he's from the Caribbean. He knows, he knows how to party. Um, but you know, if you wanna use it for tire shine or I don't know, polish, you could do that too. Okay, so now we have an Innie and an Audi, right? So this Innie is our, is our forward driving tire. This is a 315-80R 22.5. So this is a 22 and a half inch rim. Again, instead of a 365, it's a 315 in the rear. You've got six of these back here. And this forward driving wheel is giving you your power. But if you hit a bump between these four wheels here, you've got this rear tag that is behind the front wheel. And this passive tag has a pin that releases and allows the wheel to pivot. Now, in uh, 2022, uh, Spartan, I'm sorry, 2021, Spartan took their uh, pivot ability from 10 degrees to 17 degrees. So this coach actually has a tiny turning radius because it's coming from the middle of the front of this wheel to, or the middle of this, re this mid wheel to the front wheel, not from the rear. So this in turning allows you to have a very small turning radius and great maneuverability. Oh, look at our wind sensor put in one of our awnings. So Marlon's gonna show you right now our carefree awnings deployed. So the one on the far right is the Girard and that's the door awning. These do have wind sensors in them, so they have a bounce. They will automatically retract, but this is a great opportunity to show you how large these awnings are. And then these all have LED lights built in underneath so we can illuminate your camping, uh, your living room, exterior living room while you're camping. And we also have illumination underneath these slides. So Marlon, if you don't mind, I'd like to show underneath these slides. I'd like to also show how well constructed they are and you can see underneath here, so we have our little LED light strips, but look at how well sealed these are. Look at how well constructed these are. And then you can see this little panel here. So this stops the slide from going in. It lets the slide know when it's reached where it's supposed to go. So this is like not a really um, complicated electronic sensor. This is just straight metal to machine. It's a really great way to make sure that you're not going to do damage to your coach. And as you can see here, when we look at these slides, not only are they beautiful on the exterior when they're pulled in, but even when they're deployed out here on the outside, they're also beautiful from the outside. So really nice feature there um, to have those painted slides that starts at Dutch Star on up. Once again, this is a very comparable model to the Dutch Star, just more power. Uh, here's access to your 15 gallon def tank. Uh, on our Spartan chassis, we have our two chassis batteries are individually uh, on on off switches as opposed to being on a singular switch with Freightliner. So your two chassis batteries, uh, air dryers, all of your, uh, so Spartan likes to really give you easy access to your filters. Uh, so that's great. I still would recommend having your filter services done at a dealership unless you're extremely handy just because there's so many other things that you'll want to do in terms of lubrication and the like. Um, I do want to show this ISX. So. Here is our Cummins in red and our Spartan in black all around. Look at how much space is around to access this engine. 
Really, really convenient. And then here is our Oasis juice. Uh, this is an overflow tank. Please note that if you're below this cold line, you're not gonna have hot water or hydronic heat. So you wanna make sure you have Oasis juice with you. If you tell me you've watched my video, um, I've given away five gallons of Oasis juice this month. I'm more than happy to give those away. It would make much more sense for you to have Oasis juice while you're out camping than for me to have it and you to be on the phone telling me about how cold it is in your RV. Um, of course, you do have heat pumps on this RV. Um, you also have, so you've got heat pumps. There's three 15,000 BTU air conditioners with heat pumps. You have hydronic heat and you have in-floor heating. So if you're cold, there's a, probably a whole lot more going wrong than just not having Oasis juice. But having a cold shower versus a hot shower is certainly something to talk about. So you wanna make sure you have that fluid on hand. Again, this is a K3 500 horsepower Spartan chassis. This will be a 525 horsepower chassis next year. Uh, this is a 15,000 pound hitch receiver. You've got your Voyager camera connect, you've got your seven pin connector and your airlines. So all of these RVs are ready for you to stick it a little uh, cord into your blue ox and attach it to the rear of your coach, getting you down the road with your Jeep. I should also mention here, we've got our rear camera here for that 360 camera. And then I'll show you in the mid coach where the other one is. This is a side radiator coach. This side radiator is what's giving you all of that closet space in the back of the 4551. And again, this is one foot longer than the 4369, which is our number one selling coach. So just a little extra room. Again, access to your 15 gallon, do, or your 15 gallon def tank. Uh, this is a little air, this is your vent right here. Uh, and then here we have a great place to keep a gravity hose as well as some nice gloves. And then also you'll see we have the SantaCon system on this coach. So the SantaCon system just comes down here. This is a power system, you can turn it on and off. And it goes through this little, uh, this little grommet right here. Let's go ahead and pull this out just so you can see that. So you can put that through. That way you can have the door closed, attaches right here to a gravity hose if you don't want to use your SantaCon system. So you can use either one. We've got a whole house water filter here. Gray tank rinse starting in 2022. Black tank rinse as well. And then you'll see here we have our hot and cold water uh, for your outdoor shower with a nice shower head. And then also we have a digital control panel uh, right here as well. So we have go to home. You can read your, you can see all of your water tank levels. You can actually turn your water pump on, do your autofill. You can turn your lights on outside here. So that's really nice. And then you can also start your generator here from the exterior of the coach. That way, if you need to turn it on to get everything rocking and rolling, you can. Uh, you also have a water hose here that is on a power hose reel. Just push that button, it pulls in, gives you a little more stowage right there. And there's a grommet again to go put that hose out so you can have that uh, plugged in while you're deploying. Oh, and also we have a paper towel dispenser. So I sold Kip uh, a London Air and he watched the video and he's like, Katie, where's my paper towel dispenser? And I was like, gosh, darn it. But I'm telling you, our clients watch these videos. So I hope that we're helping you to learn more about the coach you're buying so that you can feel comfortable in knowing how it works when you go forward. Here's that great awning outside. Again, these power carefree awnings are so nice. Um, up here is that side camera I was telling you about for your 360. I do have our security lights turned on. Of course, where is that handy? Not only do we have the LED strips underneath the exterior of the coach, but we have the security light because we all know when you're walking around the back of the coach and you've just gotten to your campsite and you had a late start, you stopped for a long lunch, went for a little bit of an extra hike and you get to your campground and it's 10 o'clock at night and you just wanna get settled in so you can go to bed. Having all these extra lights outside are really nice because they allow you to not have to have too much of a impact on the people that are surrounding you. You can get set up and go to bed nice and quick. Uh, so this is a 50 foot long power cord. This is a great uh, bay to show you that LED light strip that you'll find in all of the bays. Your cable outlet is out here as well. Some 110 uh, outlets and then your surge protector. You're still more than welcome to get another surge protector. Uh, this is that Oasis dual loop Chinook system. So you can see there's a, this is the loop one and loop two 
hot and cold water. All of your displays are right here, easy to read. This is giving you your hot water. It's also giving you your hydronic heat. It is a really nice reason to buy a Numar. Oasis only works with Numar on the RV side. They are typically a marine grade system. So here's that same slide deployed all the way out. And again, these are super easy to pull in and out. I actually prefer the non-power slides. Um, in 2023, Numar claimed to make their uh, doors easier to open and close. They were not lying. They are so much easier to open and close. And then you're gonna see here, this coach has also the Lithionics package. So you'll see we've got two lithium ion batteries giving us 640 amp hours of battery. We have room for another third lithium ion battery. And then we have two inverters. So this RV, although I have that 12.5 kilowatt quiet diesel generator, I can run this coach down the road with running the front air conditioner without being plugged into any power. I can also run this coach track side. So if I'm camping somewhere, um, I'm going to go to San Alejo at the beginning of January. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to be boondocking. I'm going to have to run my generator or run solar if I want to run my air conditioner. I just don't, I, well, I should sit in line. I won't be able to run my air conditioner with solar. Um, I'll have to run my generator to run my air conditioner in San Alejo. This coach, however, with the solar that's on top of it and with having uh, this dual lithionics package coach, you can actually add that third battery, double your air conditioner time, um, and you could run this coach with the air conditioner running without being plugged into 50 amp or without running your generator. So that's a nice feature you're gonna get here in the mountain air. Uh, we brought that into the Dutch Star for 2024. In 2023, you could get lithionics without the second inverter. Starting in 2024, it will not be a differentiating feature between those two product lines. And again, I would look at both of these coaches pretty hard before making a decision. And make sure you get pricing from me. Don't go looking at window stickers and going, oh, I know exactly how much this is gonna cost. No, you don't. Call me. Call me and find out how much does a Dutch Star actually cost versus a Mountaineer, and then make the decision whether or not it's worth the bang for the buck to go into the higher level. Because a lot of things that are standard on a Mountaineer are optional on a Dutch Star. And by the time you get done loading and equipping these vehicles, they have much more similar price points than you would expect. Um, okay, so another access point to our 150 gallon fuel tank. Here we have our HWH uh, deployment. I am gonna go turn this coach on and I wanna show you how that, what that generator looks like. I also wanna show you where the access is to your air, if you need to air up your tires. And I also want to show you what this coach looks like with the uh, slides pulled in. So we're not going to end quite at the front like we usually do. We're going to go a little bit further today and do all the things that we should have done um, while we were still inside. And honestly, I don't feel bad about not pulling the slides in because we don't show this feature of having these full painted slide covers often enough. I mean, this is a really, look how lovely that is. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous coach. Okay, so a bug remover, and then you have your HWH power tray, and this is a nice feature. Again, on these higher end coaches, you get a little better access to things for service. So when they're accessing this 12.5 kilowatt generator and they can pop it out on the slide tray like this, as opposed to having like a little pop up with like a engine holder, uh, to access it, it gives the mechanic a little bit easier access to do your service. Also, you'll see there's your hot water line here in the front, and then there's that, there's that little tap for your air. So your air lines are tapped right there. That's where you would be able to air up your tires. Here's those big horns that we heard earlier. Um, so there's that um, beautiful air horn. So again, this is a really nice, nice coach without getting into London Air money or Essex money or King Air money. And um, I think also one of the things to note, uh, they, the stylization, so the, the way that the cabinets are manufactured and how they look is also a really big part of that. I think one of the things that the Mountaineer does really well is it straddles uh, the look of contemporary and traditional very well. It's not an overtly old fashioned looking coach. It doesn't look gaudy and old. It also isn't overtly modern. So a lot of people will take a look at a King Air and an Essex and have a very strong reaction. Uh, here in the Mountaineer, this is 
very much a coach that tends to appeal to the masses. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in here first. We are gonna pull these slides in and show you what this coach looks like in terms of walking room, because uh, I think that that is important. I'm not gonna do the bedroom slide because we don't need to do that to do that aspect of the display. Um, but let me go ahead and pull these in. Marlon, if you wanna come on up, I want you to show how this, um, this slide is coming, is rising. So I, I stopped about halfway through. Let me just go ahead and do that though. Okay, so I just wanna show this raising. So again, this is the reason this more floor allows us to have an all tile floor on the inside. And there's that huge full wall slide coming all the way in. And I think walking room is really important to a lot of people. So I wanna make sure I show that off uh, because in the 4551, this is absolutely the most popular floor plan spanning uh, from Mountain Air all the way through to King Air. This is our number one selling floor plan. I'm gonna grab this uh, because of the fact that it's got great walking room so I can walk all the way down the whole way. You'll notice I'm not having to step up onto uh, the raised slide to get through there. So flat ground all the way through. And then I get back here and I have ample access to get to my bath. So this is a really, really nice RV for those of you that are looking for not only a coach that you can take somewhere and park, but a coach that's comfortable to take down the road and to drive. Um, you know, there's so many fantastic features of this coach. The comfort drive, you know, redu reducing driver fatigue is one thing, but also just having the ability to pull over and use a restroom without having to put your slides out or anything like you would do on a fifth wheel. Um, or like I said, in this case, if for somebody who's got some mobility issues or maybe a large pet, this is a great floor plan for you. Um, if you have questions and you wanna look at price points, if you want me to email you build sheets for 2024s, if you wanna look at my 2024 videos from the Newmore Auto Show and you can't find them, just reach out to me. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Uh, I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Again, uh, text me, shoot me an email, let me know how I can help get you out on the road and camping. And thank you so much for tuning in today and for watching our, uh, watching our videos, you know, Monday through Friday. We appreciate it and we look forward to being of service and helping you get out on the road.